What's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning back into the channel. You have reached Tesla Picker. For those of y'all who don't know who Tesla Picker is, just a part-time picker. Pick at thrift stores, bin stores, your sales, garage sales, estate sales, anything to sales. I'm at <laughs> retail arbitrage stores, stuff like that. So, and I sell on eBay. And I do a part-time. I love doing it. Um, I love making money, of course. And also, I learn about other things that's out there. It's a lot of stuff that I pick up that I didn't even know exist. A lot of old stuff and new stuff. And it's just pretty neat just finding stuff like that. So, if you like stuff like that, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, thank you for tuning in. Uh, today, I got two packages that I'm sending out today. One order is probably my biggest, as far as money is concerned, order yet since I've been doing this. And... You gotta take it with a grain of salt because it's two things that they bought from me. And basically, it's some ink, some toner. They bought two of them. And I had them for $150 a piece. So it's a $300 listing, I guess you can say, plus shipping. So it's about $320 before fees and everything. And uh, it's pretty good in one day. And then I also sold another ink to somebody else. It's an open box, but it was $14.99. So pretty good day yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Frankenstein this with this box some type of way throw it in a little bitty box go to the post office and ship out and uh, I think today what I want to do is um, I told you I think last video that I was going to try to ease off the thrift stores like I was telling y'all I live in Kentucky it's cold matter of fact it's going to be like 30 degrees today so there's no yard sales, garage sales, things like that. So all we got really this in the winter is I buy stuff off Craigslist, which like I told y'all, this ink purchase, it's a bunch of inks, about $50. Let me show y'all some of the toner. Oh yeah, update on eBay room. It's coming together. Got some shelves, uh, shoes over there, kind of lined up. After a while, these shoes and that shelf behind here, it's gonna be gone and I think I'm gonna get another shelf to put over in this area over here uh, it just depends on how you know how much I need to grow I got a chef here and then I got a chef in my storage room as well so right now I'm okay uh, and then I still make my socks got my press gotta have that and anyway I was gonna show you this ink this is not all up I got a bunch in the garage these are some toners that I haven't even listed yet in my storage room I got a bunch that I've already listed Anyway, I got all that for $50 to fill up my tie hole twice. $40 the second time, $50. So I'm $90 into it. When I sold my first couple ink uh, cartridges, it paid for the whole lot. So everything else is just profit. And like I said, this right here I bought in one listing. I bought it, what, three times? Two times? Three times. So... Check your Craigslist. You know, there's a lot of people on there just giving stuff away almost. So if you can find something to where you can get a lot of it, that's great. Especially if it sells good. And ink always sells great. So let me go ahead and pack this stuff up and get out of here. And let's see where the day takes us. All right. Got the packages off. Decided to stop at the Goodwill. And y'all know, I stay in the Goodwill. But we got quite, and I'm sure every city does, but we have... A lot of them so i'm never really at the same one right now i'm at one in the outskirts this is probably only my second time being in this one i like to go to different ones because you know especially if you're going every other day you just never know hey i guess you never know i mean because they put out stuff all day every day so you just never know what you're gonna catch but i just like a different scenery and i don't know so let's go in here and see what's up see what they got i'm gonna try to spend about 20 minutes in here or less and yeah, talk to y'all when we get back out. Oh, I might talk to y'all while we in there. <laughs> oh, she got mm. more my style right here. More my style. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, I'm back. 
back at home. Went to two Goodwills. First one didn't get too much anything. I didn't get nothing at all. And the second one, I picked up a couple items, some unusual items uh, that the normal person probably wouldn't pick up. But I'll, that guy, of course, Bruh. and I went on to pick them up. So let's just get into what I did pick up. But the first thing I picked up was these jockey pouch underwear. Uh, it's a pair of three. And these are going for like $25 on, yeah, about $25 online. So $29.99, I believe. I put it on the screen somewhere. I forget exactly. These were $3.99, so great pickup. And they selling. It's not that many on there, and they are selling. So this will be an easy sale. I also picked up a couple of vintage items, like this right here. It's um, Long John's. And it was made back in the... I don't know, I looked it up, but I think this is back in the 80s when this came out. And dry goods, slaughter tuck company, heavyweight, thermal, underwear goods. Um, the comps on this is about $20, believe it or not. I paid $2.99 for it. And yeah, that should sell pretty good. I bought a couple of them. This is another one, Hangs. This is, actually says on the back, 1987. Uh, so, and these are going for about 20. I think I have a comp on this. And I couldn't find a comp really on that, but I'm going to list on this one. I, I couldn't find a comp on that one, but I'm going to list it for the same as this one. So, and this is actually a Long John shirt, thermal top, $20 item. Like I said, I have a couple more. The right, for some reason, wasn't that many on eBay. So, um, by that, I'm thinking that you know, they probably go as pr the same as the Hangs. So I probably listed for $20. There's another one, $20. Believe it a lot, man. People, these are actually came out. I take that back. This is not 80s. This is 19. These two right here, about 10 years ago, 2011. And one more, the Funeral Loom one. Uh, this is a 2011 one, too. And the same. I'm listing them off for about $20. I also got this, too. I probably wear these myself. Got these for myself. It's just some old, nice, slim hang shirts. Maybe. Because I wear large, but this is, and sometimes medium, but this is a slim, so I don't know if I can fit that or not. Um, also, I got this bag of animals. Uh, I'm going to go through them and see if any of them are worth any. I think these are old 80s animals, and um, sometimes these can be worth some money. You know, of course, I'll probably sell them on the lot. But I want to pick a couple of them, a couple of them out, just to see, you know, if they worth some money. I probably do that here in a few, um, and see what's up. I also, I usually don't do this, but hope you can see me. As y'all know, I collect pops, Funko pops, and I wanted to open one on camera because I just got home and this was in the mailbox. I got all kinds of stuff out here. Don't let's see. So let's open it up, matter of fact. Matter of fact, here we go, here we go. This is something that I collect. Um, I've been, haven't been on it really like I usually am. And, uh, oh, okay. It's the Migo Offset. Great pop, right? Those of y'all who don't know who Offset is, the rapper. Uh, and the Migos is the group name. So, anyway, I'm going to turn into this bag real quick, see what I can find, and I'll let y'all know if I find anything worth listing on eBay. Like I said, I'm going to list it as a lot, but I want to see if any of these are actual pieces by themselves are worth anything. So, I'll let y'all know in a few. All right, so... I kind of went through some of them, not all of them, it's a bunch of them in here, like I said. I looked this up, this is made back in 96. It says, uh, I don't know if you can see that, 1996 Club Earth. Uh, but these, I didn't see this exact one, but I seen I seen a frog one like this and a couple other ones, but they was all going for about $25 a piece. So this right here alone pays for this. I might buy off my screen. There's something on there. Anyway. Pays for this bag and some, and plus, because this bag was $5. And a lot of these was back in, 90, in the 80s and 90s. And 
And a couple of these in here too was going for like $12, $13 a piece. But what I'll probably do is list the whole bag. I'll pour it down on this whiteboard. That's where I take my pictures at. Take a picture of all of them and put one price on them. So I'll probably sell this by itself and then sell all the animals by itself because I don't feel like going through all that. Oh, and I almost missed one thing. Found this Christian Dior perfume in the Goodwill for $2.99. And I don't know exactly what this one is going for. It's about a little bit more than half of a bottle. But I know I can get more than $2.99, I figured anyway. So I will list that. I forgot to look at the comps on it, but maybe I'll look them up before I edit this video and put it on the screen. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I showed y'all the eBay rooms coming around, coming along nicely. I ain't got nothing on the shelves really. I got a couple things, but uh, Next time you see this room, all this stuff on the floor, and I got stuff other places too, should be on the shelves. All right, so I got work tonight, so I'm gonna give me some Z's. Watch a couple of videos, um, Part Time Picker, Rally Roots, Lonnie, uh, and a couple other guys that I watch. So, um, you know, the reason why I buy stuff like this is because, well, really because watching their videos, because I would have never bought all these animals here if I didn't watch, um, I think Port Time Picker, he bought a bag and did pretty good on those. All of those vintage thermals and stuff like that, from watching these videos, man, YouTube really puts it out there and helps us resellers a lot. So if you're a reseller out there, watch as many videos as you can. Plus it's entertaining. I love to see what they find. I love to see how much money they make and things of that nature. Along with do your research, Google certain things, you know, um, I just bought a soda shirt the other day that I had no idea what brand it was because I'm out of the loop. I'm not in the in crowd no more. I don't Bruh. wear all the brands and stuff like that. My son does, but not me. But anyway, I bought the brand and um, brought it home and it sold in like two days. Bought it, I think, for $4.59. That's what it was at the Goodwill. Sold for $39.99. So just stuff like that. You know, I mean, get as much info as you can. Um, like Commonwealth Picker said, he said, know a little about everything not just everything about one thing so with all that being said i'm gonna get off of here short video today i'll probably be on here tomorrow uh i got different video tomorrow so y'all stay tuned remember like comment subscribe y'all be good peace